Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Zia. I welcome all of you from Master of Medical Knowledge Hub for today's lecture of fluid balance in surgical patients. Fluid balance is a very important aspect in perioperative management of surgical patients. When you talk about the body fluid disturbances, they are classified into three broad categories. First is the changes in the volume, which can be hypovolemia or hypervolemia. Hypovolemia, just make a volume decrease or jayega, or hypervolemia, just make a volume increase or jayega. Then the second is changes in the concentration. As we have noticed that the major extracellular cation is sodium. And sodium is responsible for the fluid retention in the extracellular compartment. So if the sodium concentration is decreased, that is the hyponatremia, it affects the fluid movement across the cell membrane. And if the sodium concentration increase, it is called as hypernatremia. And it also affects the movement of the fluid between the cell and the interstitial and intravascular spaces. Third ma major category is the changes in the composition. Different homeostatic mechanism like the acid base imb imbalances, like the concentration changes in the calcium ion, magnesium ion, and potassium ion, they also affect the body fluid disturbances. These we will discuss uh, in the next few slides. What happened? There is a fine balance to maintain the homeostasis of the fluid and electrolyte in the body that how much water is gained or water is intake and how much water is lost. And this balance is maintained. If this balance is disturbed, then the, we will label it as a fluid imbalance. And we uh, resuscitate the patient to restore the homeostasis of the fluid. In the water gain, there is the sensible water gain and the insensible water gain. Sensible water gain, for example, we have oral fluids or solid food. So, solid fluid can be fluid content. So, this is our intake. Water is intake in body. This is water generation by the process of the oxidation. The cellular level of oxidation process is also generated by the water generation. So, this amount of water is gained in the body. water is intake in body. In normal uh, person. So, in this way, in normal person, there is water loss. There is a sensible water loss, hai, jo ke water loss ho in the form of urine. Urination is water ke loss. Ho hai. Intestinal water loss is in intestinal species. Ki surat mein, and then the sweating. So, this is variable. So, this is water loss. We just have to say that this is water loss. There is an insensible water loss. There is a respiratory passages, mein ho hai, lungs. Mein ho hai and then by the uh, stain. So, this uh, water loss is in the combination of our water ka output or water ka loss. So, this balance in a normal homeostatic environment of the human body, in normal conditions, this balance is maintained. If this balance is disturbed, this is water ka gain or water ka loss, the so, patient has uh, go into the state of dehydration. Hopefully you understand. Then we should be familiar with the few terminologies. What is dehydration? Dehydration is actually, we label the dehydration as the extracellular fluid volume deficit. There can be cellular dehydration, but normally when we use the term dehydration, it is the decrease in the fluid volume in the extracellular compartment, which include the interstitial compartment, and the intravascular compartment. And other terminology is the hypovolemia. Hypovolemia is the isotonic dehydration. Isotonic means that the tonicity, the osmolarity of the compartment is not changing. That means that the water is the electrolyte is the same proportion. So, this means the volume deficit is isotonic. That means that the tonicity is the osmolarity is not in the compartment. This is the condition of the hypovolemia. We label that hypovolemia or dehydration is mild or moderate or severe. If up to 2% of body weight loss, 
it is the mild uh, condition if if it is 5% of the body weight loss it is the moderate condition and if it is the 8% or more of the body weight loss then we label it as a severe condition severe fluid volume deficit mild mein kya symptoms aayenge clinical features kya honge skin ki turgidity loss hogi sunken eyes hogi aur dry mucus membrane मॉडरेट में पेशेंट के अंदर सिस्टेमिक सिम्टम्स आना शुरू होंगे डिक्रीज इन द यूरिन फॉर्मेशन विच इज कॉल्ड एज ओलिड यूरिया डिक्रीज इन द ब्लड प्रेशर विच इज कॉल्ड एज हाइपोटेंशन एंड कंपेंसेटरी इंक्रीज इन द हार्ट रेट एंड इन सीवियर कंडीशन ऑल दीस क्लिनिकल फीचर्स आर एक्सजरेटेड एंड देयर आर प्रोफाउंड सिम्टम्स पेशेंट मे गो इनटू शॉक थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर टुडे नेक्स्ट टाइम वी मीट इन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक